Can I introduce us? Yeah, can I talk? I hope we can eat real food after this. Oh my god. Hey guys, what's up? It's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for watching this video. So for today, I decided that I'm going to attempt to cook and I'm going to be doing a three course meal, if you will. I'm not going to put all the three courses in this video. I'm going to be separating this into three separate videos um, because one, you might get annoyed with me and two, this video will take forever to edit and three, it's just easier because content. Okay. Um, I'm not the best at cooking, but you know what? It's fine. And I want to broaden my horizons with cooking because I'm going to be moving out eventually again. So I would like to uh, at least know how to cook some things. So yeah, I have my sister and my cousin in the background. This is Liv. That's no, kind of peeking her head. And Miranda uh, to be my assistants. So I don't burn down the house and just in case I don't know what I'm doing. Also, shout out to my aunt for letting me use her kitchen, which she doesn't know about. But like, you know what? It's fine. First step, put the apron on. And put your hair up. Okay. Yeah. What and wash your hands. Okay, this is stupid. No. While Nikki is fixing her hair, we do a little haul. So Nikki makes to make us wake up at the, up at the crack of dawn. So um, where? So we go to Starbucks. So she got a dragon fruit refresher. Okay, my Olivia got a very very hibiscus, and then I got an iced coffee with coconut milk and three pumps of vanilla. And that's our Starbucks haul. For this video, I'm gonna be making spinach dip. So I have all my ingredients right here, so I'll show you guys. And where I put the recipe. That's not. <laughs> so this is gonna be a bitch to edit. Yes, it is. Sorry, this is gonna be a bleep to edit. <laughs> so I'm gonna be making vegan spinach and artichoke dip. So what you need is you need cashews, which I got. You need. Do you have garlic? Okay, I need that. Like fresh garlic? You need four cloves of garlic, whatever that means. You need one small onion diced. Oh, shit. Do you have non-dairy milk? No. Plant-based, just use regular milk. Okay, so I know I said this is vegan, but I don't have any non-dairy milk on me, so I'm sorry if you get offended by that. We're gonna use regular milk. You need nutritional yeast. You need a lemon, which I don't have. You need salt. You need four cups of loosely packed spinach. We don't have fresh spinach. We found, I forgot to buy spinach and my cousin has um, frozen spinach. So we're gonna use this. And then you need artichokes. So got this can right here. I'm gonna start cooking. So preheat the oven to 425 degrees okay. Fahrenheit. I'm no, I can no, do it. No, no, I can do it. No, 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 that's not. No, oven's preheating. Um, so cashews, heat up about three cups of water in a tea kettle or small pot, pour boiling hot water over the cashews and let them soak for five minutes, drain them when ready to blend. Do you have a blender? I don't know how much cashews, I think it said half a cup. Well here, you can figure that out. Okay, let's see, what's half a cup? So this says two cups, so a half is like here. That's one cup and a half. Where's half a cup? Right here. I pointed. One and a half cups. Yeah, that's what I need. I pointed right here. You said you needed half a cup. One and a half cups. So you're gonna take your cashews. Oh, they have enough. Oh, shit. That's too much. You know what? It's fine. Oh, we're just gonna put the whole bag no. in. No. What? It's like literally half a cup. A little bit more One than half a cup. One and a half. One and a half cups. That's what I meant. We have our cashews, so we're gonna set that aside for now until the water until the water um, is hot enough. In a pan, saute the garlic and onion for two to three minutes using each tablespoon, using either a tablespoon of olive oil or water until the onion is slightly translucent, set aside. We need to saute the garlic and onion for two to three minutes on either side. We're gonna have to move our setup. What does slightly translucent mean, like clear? Like that, you know when you cook an onion and then it like goes? Yeah, you know it goes like clear, caramelized. Yeah. Okay. Am I doing this right? Did I peel it? Do yeah, I have to peel this? Yes. How do I peel a fucking onion? I don't know how to cut an onion like that. You have to dice it. Nope. You know what dice means? Yeah, like squares. Yeah. Why do I have two knives? Because this one's really garlic. Why do you need separate knives? Because you're. Do you want to get this done? I'm nice gonna... close up of Nikki yeah. zooming. Be careful. No, no need to go to the hospital, thanks. Don't, don't have time for that. Hospital. You didn't take off the skin. Liv didn't take off the skin. <laughs> I'm so 
so impatient. This is why I don't cook. And I'm going to zoom out. Is this how you cut the garlic? Yes, that's just how you cut the garlic. You're lying to me. You're, I know you're lying to me. First of all, you don't use a bread knife to cut garlic. Liv said this knife is for the garlic. That doesn't really matter. <laughs> so I have to wait till the oil's heat up? Yes. Give it like a minute. Oh my god, this is so impatient. Now, I'm now, so here. impatient. Now, I need something to saute with. I know you don't use this. Well, you I can. may not cook, but I know you don't use this to well, saute. What do you want with garlic? Miranda, what do you use to saute? A wooden spoon. We don't have that. Get it in the pan. Good girl. Okay, now you're going to need a plate to put that in after. Just taking 10 years. Okay, you literally put it on 50 okay, seconds ago. Okay, what's the next step? No, no, don't do too many things. Don't do too many things at once. Okay, this is how you burn I'm shit. Guys, I'm back. I'm Miranda getting Maybe. all the really what? nice shots. To, like, you can't leave food unattended. And do you want seasoning? Especially when there's oil in it. We're going to let these soak, so we're just going to put this right over here. Can you move? <laughs> See, this was going to happen. Miranda and Liv were going to get annoyed with me trying to do stuff, and they were just going to take over. Now that you have your saute onions and garlic, I'm gonna bring it over here and then put that in the sink. In a high powered blender such as a Vitamix, add the soaked drained cashews, unsweetened milk, nutritional yeast, yeah. young lemon juice, one teaspoon of salt. Blend very smoothly. Okay, so we're gonna get the measuring cup again. I'm gonna drain the cashews. Look at the chef! So we're gonna add soaked cashews. Nikki, doesn't that come undone? Just leave it on there. Okay, okay. we're gonna add our cashews, like it said. What? We're gonna take, we're gonna pretend this is vegan milk. You're gonna take one and a half cups. And you don't have enough milk. You know what, it's fine. You're gonna pour that in. So one fourth cup of nutritional yeast. One teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. Use Himalayan salt. I'm not gonna measure it. That should be good. And then blend until very smooth. So what do I click? Chop, mix, grate, blend, liquefy. Garlic, spinach, and artichokes, plus a couple, pulse a couple of times, do not blend. Okay. Now we're gonna add our onions and garlic. Artichokes. Ew. We're just gonna eyeball how many artichokes to go in. So I think there's like four artichokes in there. Add spinach. What the hell is this? It's frozen! I thought it was like freaking spinach leaves. No, I told you it was Yeah, frozen. it's frozen spinach. You, that was kind of easy. I'm gonna add the spinach. Water everywhere. Water, water, everywhere we're gonna get. Oh wait, I get copyrighted. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna pulse. Blend this. Don't know what that means, so. Don't blend it, it's gonna be mud. Okay, pulse. How you do I blend it in the oven and crisp it up? Okay, Liv, this is very important. How this actually looks pretty good, like I'm proud of myself. Okay, now we're gonna pour it into the pan. No! Why does it look like that? Because it's spinach dip. Because it's there's cashews in it. There's cashews in it? Yeah. Yeah, how do you get the creamy consistency? It's okay, there's what? milk in it. So we're gonna put it in the oven for 20 yeah. minutes and I'll catch up with you guys when it's ready. The spinach dip right here, it's already kind of got golden brown at the edges, but like, you know what, it's fine. So we're gonna do a taste test right now. Before we taste this, do you guys think this will taste good? Cause I made no. it. No. If it does, I will be sure. Okay. 
three and stuff. One, two, okay, I'm just shoving three. Ready? One, two, three. I feel like it kind of has a flavor. There's a lot of spinach. Did you Too put much spinach, not enough garlic. There's not enough seasoning. Really tastes like, like a five out of ten. It's like a six, five out of ten. Six out of ten. I'll give it like a four. I'm give it like a five. Like this tastes like baby food. Like you know the like. Yeah. <laughs> Your math. Here you go. Nice shot. <laughs> spill it. So um. Okay. You're so not gonna spill what? <laughs> not gonna spill it, eh? <laughs> Wasted. <laughs> that's it for this video if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up a comment down below um if you're excited for the next uh give us a like because nikki didn't do any of the cleaning and we're uh, making sloppy and we're now. making and yeah. um stay tuned for part two next we're making sloppy joes and then after that uh we're making tiramisu supposed to be with beans which you swear oh with please <laughs> Subscribe if you have not already and if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see me attempting to cook again because I will be. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next week in my new video. Bye. No, Bye.